In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a cover for our digital magazine. This is part six, adding animation. Now that you've finished adding all the content to your front cover, we need to start animating components of it. To do that, click on W so you can see all your frames. You'll also need to open your layers palette. Each of these layers contains content and if you turn the eye off, you'll see exactly what's on each layer. I'm going to put some of the other content on its own layers, for example, the puff. With the selection tool, I'm going to select the grouped puff. I'm going to control X to cut it. I'm going to create a new layer, call the layer puff, click on OK, and then I'm going to go back to edit, paste in place. So let's just check on our puff layer, on our frame layer, on our cover image layer, sorry, cover text layer, on our cover text layer, on our model no background layer, masthead layer, and model background. All of our information is now on an individual layer. I'm going to start by animating the masthead. Go to the selection tool, select the masthead. If the masthead isn't selecting easily for you, go over to the layers palette, Click on masthead and make sure the little dot on the right is selected and that will select the frame for you. I now want to open a new palette. I'm going to go to window, interactive, animation. And you can tear this palette off and place it in a more convenient location. Making sure masthead is selected, somehow I've managed to deselect it. I want to add an animation. So here it's brought up a name, Flipped. I'm going to change that to Masthead. Go to the preset and click on the drop down arrow and you've got a number of presets. You can preview all of them in this box here. It'll show you what they look like. You can roll through those and see which ones you like, but I'm going to use the Zoom In 2D. I want to preview that. So what I do is click on this Preview button here. I'm going to add a few more animations. I'm going to start with the puff, make sure it's selected over here. I'm going to call this group name puff. I'm going to choose an animation and I want this one to do a similar kind of animation. So zoom in 2D, click on the preview. Wait for it to load. And they both come in, but not at the same time. I want to adjust that so they come in at the same time. I'm just going to move my preview screen out of the way. So to adjust that they come in at the same time, I go back to Window, go back to Interactive, and now I choose Timing. On the Timing, I've got Masthead and Puff. If I click on Masthead and click on Puff, and then click on this icon down here, it says play together. So let's go back to our preview screen, play my preview, it will reload. And now they load at the same time. I'm going to work on some more animations, different animations for these other three cover lines. So you can see here I've got my puff, now I want to go down to my cover text. To make it easier for myself, I'm going to turn off the puff turn off the frame. So the next layer available to me is cover text. Click on the selection tool, make sure the cover text layer is active and then select the frame that you want to animate. So this one is who screams for ice cream. The name is up here. I'm happy with that. I want this cover line to fly in from the left and this green line shows me the path that my animation will take. Let's preview that. Let's add animations to the other ones. Lazy days of summer, go to the animation palette, choose your animation. Again, I want it to fly in from the left. It will follow a similar path. I'm happy with the times I can see. 
I'm also going to go to best mug cakes, but I want the puff here, the cross or the plus sign to come in at the same time. So holding down the shift key, I'm going to click on the plus while best mug cakes is selected as well. Right click, group them. Now that group comes up in the animation. I'm just going to call that group mug cakes. And I want this one to fly in from the right. And you can see it has an animation line here. So let's preview all three of those. And we'll turn on our puff and our frame to see the whole thing happening at the same time. So I'm happy with how the animations work, but I want them all to happen at the same time. So let's go back to timing. Open the timing dialog box. Let's select all of these, holding the shift key down to select all of them. Group them all by clicking on this chain emblem at the bottom, play together. On page load. Now you have a completed front cover with animation. Don't forget to save.